How uh, our startup ecosystem has progressed over time. Uh, you guys should also understand what are the elements which led this change, what, what's worked, what hasn't worked, what's working, how it's changing. I call it a new economy. And definitely uh, under the leadership of uh, our prime minister, um, there are lots of things that happened in the last nine years, especially after 2016 when he came up with the startup policy uh, in January. Uh, so we'll, we'll see that these are factual slides. Anybody can go on internet and fi find all those facts what we have mentioned here. Let's go through this presentation. Um, so these are some of the things in Gene 20, some biofuel um, government, Indian government has announced, they say how it will become big. It's, it's an idea what we are talking about, like a startup idea is the most important. After that, the most important aspect, how people execute. And in that execution, the ecosystem and policies and the environment matters a lot. I think this is just a highlight what we all we have achieved this through this uh, G20 uh, our uh, meeting, which was successfully and most amazingly hosted by our country. I, we should be really proud of that. Uh, I think the key points here in this overall presentation, there are three things uh, like startup, their background story, initiatives, and where the India stands. So if you'll see startup really has, um, let's say Flipkart, we have founded in 2007, uh, October. And you guys will be amazed uh, in that 2007, uh, I don't know how many of you um, know that at that time, how many internet users were there? Any guess? Though I have told you many, multiple times in my podcast also, uh, it was seven, eight million broadbands. There was no smartphone, no in other internet means method. On that, we were building Flipkart. On desktop, uh, it was not even mobile. Mobile we have launched in 2000, around 2012. So uh, with that, I think journey has started somewhere. It has been seeded by multiple people. But in the modern format, if you say that startup has, was taking the shape after 2007, 2008. And I proudly say that. I always say that as a, you can say that as a proud uh, founders and being part of the most successful story till now. Uh, that's the starting point of a startup ecosystem. Though there were more companies like Make My Trip and all were there, but I think Flipkart was one of the most successfully, global successful company. So if you'll see, there are lots of landscape, uh, in what's the Indian scenario, need for a startup, all these things, like I said, you know that, but we are just saying that, hey, how a startup in last five, six years globally has changed and no Old brands are, like in last 10 years, if you'll see, these are the brands where top of the mind uh, globally and locally, even if you'll see most of the talent we are attracting from the, any of the campus, if you'll see best of the talent join startup. It was not the scenario when we have started in 2007, 2008, because people were afraid of, hey, what kind of uh, my career will going to save. People were not ready to join, giving up their so-called MNC's career, and I come from IIT Delhi. Uh, so for us also, joining some MNC rather than working on our own idea was under huge pressure from our parents, from our society, from the friends and families, because they say that, hey, why you guys? And we started with the books. And people say that after all your degree, engineering degree, you're selling books online, who all these people will going to buy? Because this was a new concept, and there was no ecosystem, no no delivery, no online transaction payments. Who, who would have thought in less than 15 years, India is the largest online payment ecosystems. At that time, even you are not getting a payment gateway connections for your startup. So we have traveled a lot. These are some of the examples how things has, has taken the top of the mind. So, Early journey, you can say the momentum in early 2000, but I think really, like I told you, it has picked up when some broadband, the number like seven, eight millions, and after 2012, a smartphone was booming, and on that, internet came. But actual 
actual internet has internet has reached to the masses in 2014 when this 4G entered and Jio uh, has made that possible to give this uh, internet access to the common man. So th those revolution has happened and government has made lots of policies which also fueled the whole ecosystem. Earlier it was impossible in India before GST it was very hard to build a business because every state have their own taxes. So creating an infrastructure and being a taking care of all the compliances, it was almost a nightmare and the cost of being a compliances was very high. So one, one country, one tax which came into July 2017 has changed the whole scenario in India. And one has to understand that, that's, and that's the role of the government. And that's why I give the credit to the government, even though uh, our startup policy 2016 came in, 2000, uh, uh, in January, but the reforms which are these, these are the reforms which has led the, led from front and inspired various entrepreneurs to build this uh, ecosystem. Again, these are some of the data guys, uh, you can, you can like, like I said that, you can simply see that hey, what the government has worked upon, they have seen, uh, there are millions of jobs got created. Any guess, let's say today, and I can proudly say that Flipkart, you guys can, any, any guess how many employees are there directly in Flipkart? More than 200,000 jobs it has been given. 200,000, not a single company or any initiatives had directly created that much of job. I'm talking about direct jobs. Indirect, it can be in million. Because lots of seller ecosystem, they have employed for uh, taking care of uh, their own brands online and all. So I think those things are, these are the one of the success story and we need more success story like that. And there are multiples because there are almost more than more than 100 uh, unicorns. Though again, I'm saying that in our ecosystems, currently we are going through the tough phase. We call it a funding winter because of the global scenario. Uh, lots of, I'm, I'm not going to call it recession because Indian economy is doing great. And if you'll see all the numbers are much ahead of in comparison to any other country. But at the same time, mostly India received money from outside as if from the VC fund or from the PE fund. Uh, they are they are holding up from last one and a half years. So we call it funding winter because uh, if you will not fund, go to market, finding the right product for the market, it takes time, minimum four year to seven years. Like still, if you'll see, we are finding a product market fit even for Uran, even after seven years, we are still working on that. It's not like it's very, it's a profit making business. It's not. It's still, we are investing money to find right product for this ecosystem, yeah. Reform, perform and transform, like this government uh, has definitely has given a serious thought how, how these things make, a, uh, make this startup a real and our new economy, I call it new economy. Uh, startup is something, uh, is an idea, but new economy is seriousness where you start working on the unit economics uh, building real ideas and if you'll see in last five, six years, multiple company has gone for uh, IPOs. It hasn't happened in first 10, 12 years of startup ecosystem. But if you'll see uh, Jomato uh, has gone for an IPO, uh, our uh, Paytm has gone for IPO, our delivery has gone for IPO. All these companies are around 10 to 12 years old in this ecosystem. But if you'll see there are more than 10, 12 companies are lined up for IPO, which has a healthy economics. And that is very encouraging in the world because any investors who invest money in a startup or any company, their exit is also important. If somebody is investing, if you're not giving the return, nobody will going to come and fuel or give further money. So these are the right way where the companies are going for IPO means their business is real ideas are real and the opportunities are real. So the, some of the reform perform and we are, we are in that journey. And I think credit one have to give to the, our current government, how seriously there is a ministry, there is a department who is continuously working and taking care of how to make it big and solving the problem and customizing also from 
like for the health tech what you require for agri tech what you require for fintech what you require for commerce what you require for b2b what you require and they are going customizing sector to sector yeah again some of the when it has been released on 16th of january our uh, former um, late finance minister is also you can see and the impact of this 2016 startup policy you can so before coming there are numbers of unicorns you can see that and after 2016 more than hundreds of unicorn has been created and yeah there are many more like in 2020 2022 you can see less because the funding winter is still continues and if i these are the these are the phenomena it goes in a in goes in up and down but once it starts settles means the your base has been raised and down down time or funding winter is a good for our ecosystem because then you start seriously thinking if there is no money how to stress upon your innovations finding a product more uh, uh, relevant for uh, frugality building a culture so you are not spending money and growing rather than unit economics you are fixing so these are the some of the startup uh, portals when they use some of the things how the government has created this month of funds of funds a tax exemptions has been created so that the money uh, legitimate money should find the way in a startup eco ecosystem so that the domestic money not only the foreign uh, money domestic money should also help to grow the ecosystem and we and the government is solving that problem also lots of tax exemptions has been provided giving uh, angel tax uh, uh, rebate 3 3 years tax exemption for a startup i think all these things are encouraging people to invest money in this ecosystem so that earlier if you'll see whole ecosystem was revolving around bangalore or ncr or little bit of mumbai but if you'll see in last 5 6 years the startup has penetrated really penetrated in uh tier 2 tier 3 also if you'll say now the new centers like jaipur indore and every state is fighting is uh pitching to and they are opening a incubator accelerator for startups and also they are encouraging to solve their local problems so some of the idea which are solving either in agri tech or in some uh, local problem so that people can find a real idea which working locally so these are the some of the highlights of how the gone like i was a no angel tax exemption incubator support income tax exemption facility uh, patent filing so patent filing all these are the things where when you are protecting your ips ip is the most important aspects if you are creating a ip and nobody is protecting means somebody will going to steal so to create a value government has to come and and uh, 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 come up with the sum of the laws which can protect these ips it can geo tag in nature it can local in nature again the policy some of the highlights i think you guys can i like i said that you can these are more uh, factual in nature government has created the uh, 10000 crore corpus which are funds of funds means Uh, like sidbi is becoming lp to lots of so not only startup ecosystem has thriving if you'll see the whole vc ecosystem which are indian indian vc has been also founded in last 4 5 years and if i'm not wrong small and big series a series b uh, funding almost like 50 60 legitimate vc has been founded out of india means indian money or indian the hnis their family offices are also investing in as a lp or they are founding some of the funds so that they can invest in this startup ideas so these are the number of incubator accelerator the incubator means they they are i think there is a basic difference accelerator uh, mostly i think university and all uh, uh, they incubate because students are there they have the idea so some of the professor being a part of it finding the structure how uh, professor or students can be a, uh, be benefited out of that facilities and also university come up this uh, incubator uh, ideas so that 
uh, they can take exemptions of some of the years of the regular education and they can focus on their ideas. So lots of universities are giving exemptions for uh, uh, like I know for uh, Pilani has given a, like in final year you can leave and you can come back anytime and complete it. Again, uh, these are the some of the uh, numbers how it has been incubated in the high education institute where like IITs or Pilanis they have incubated these kind of uh, companies in their own campuses when the I student came up with the ideas. And these are the ecosystem how their mentors because there are uh, alumni which can uh, like I come from let's say IIT Delhi and I am also a founder of the IIT Delhi endowment fund. So we are I am a part of that I sit on their board also. I think idea was to how the institute should get independent financially and there are lots of uh, we have a strong alumni systems globally how they can give back to the society and give money to if you see any of the Harvard or any of the best institute in out of US or anywhere in the world they have their own financial ecosystems and these alumni supports them they give their money uh, and if you see like some of them multi-billion dollar endowment funds. Our idea we have also incubated this and government supports that because earlier and I am just giving an example in IIT act you cannot all the dependency government has to fund. Now government came with the reform you we can we can have our own endowment fund and we can influence the education which is more relevant for solving the current problems rather than having uh, having those traditional BTEX where might be it's not relevant for our society solving problem endowment funds can influence them their own curriculum so that they it's more relevant education can so I think whole ecosystem where mentoring guidance training funding all those things they are solving so that you can uh, you should focus on your ideas and learn during those times and these are some of the hot spots of startup ecosystems which states leading from front uh, you can see that but here you can say that oh, that oh, NCR region uh, uh, Gujarat and all but most of the funding if you will see goes to Bangalore ecosystem and NCR. First Bangalore out of all the 100 unicorns most of them are in those two three locations. We have to spread them and government is trying hard to give the incentive so that all these startup can go in tier two tier three cities and everywhere like eastern side if you will see that whole ecosystem not emerging that much. And they have to find and come migrate toward either Bangalore or Delhi or Mumbai or Hyderabad for their ideas. Now they should not go and all the governments are also uh, funding the startups or uh, yeah they, they are finding a institution so that it can be locally supported and these are the some of the sectors how many uh, startups has been founded and which I think number of startups are more these are the why either some kind of funding has happened that's why these are the numbers but the startups can be in lakhs. <clears throat> Again these are the sectors how much money has gone how many numbers of startup got those fundings who all are supporting I, I, all these things you guys understand because some of the funds have a they said that hey I will only support fintech or commerce or agritech or impact. So that those are the funds but there are many more. Agri startup as a like we are because agriculture in something in India is still 60-65% of the people are directly indirectly attached with the agri agriculture. So our agriculture has a huge scope and last 4-5 years lots of agri tech has found those ideas and capital also uh, and they are really innovative the production is increasing the relevant uh, uh, cash crops where they are getting more yield for the per unit uh, production. So all those things and government is really supporting that uh, and encouraging the funds and the ideas so that uh, agriculture should be going through the transformation. Like these are some of the examples how uh, government is facilitating drones and all. Yeah expanding space tech is another so government has uh, if you will see the 
when the new government came into existence, the first thing, we have a huge uh, defense budget, almost like more around 70, 80 billion dollar. And it will going to go and double in next five years. And huge portion of that goes to import all the ammunitions and the infrastructure from outside. Government has put, bring 70% of the production has to happen in India. And space tech, which are like future defense and also that will help you to increase the yield, productions, more, uh, traffic, everything, internet. They are encouraging and government has given, uh, brought lots of reform in that sector earlier. It was not allowed for any private body to in, enter into these sectors. Now it's easy and there are lots of uh, company has already entered and doing uh, amazing works like Agnikul. I know they have uh, sent lots of satellite already uh, in the space. Uh, somebody like Elon Musk kind of things are ha going to happen because uh, those reforms will allow them to have their own uh, reusable rocket can be experimented. So these are the great initiative government has done. Like this unicorn club is, is it just a one should not be fascinated by unicorn. It's, it's a hindsight. It's a, just a PR matrix. In my mind, the person has to focus on idea. Valuation, like uh, valuation is a secondary matrix. Somebody cannot say that, hey, I will create a unicorn. No, that's a secondary. Somebody can say that, no, that's the unicorn I have to create. No, I, I think that's a wrong matrix. Unicorn are just a PR matrix. We are... I say that we are the third largest ecosystem in the world as a startup. But if you'll put, if you'll see the Indian minds and include all the US startup ecosystems and the support, already we are much ahead of others. Now, how to make this largest, which are solving Indian problems and Indian ecosystems, I think that's our focus and government saying the same thing. Earlier, in a startup ecosystem, the economic incentive was not aligned. So lots of company get incubated outside of India. And if it is amazing, in last four or five years, government was solving one by one every problem so that now there is no difference if you are incubating your company outside of India. There is no upside. Earlier there was, in fact, Flipkart, we have incubated in Singapore. Even Urana have incubated in Singapore. Because it's a much better to raise capital, give exit, uh, less paperwork, all those advantages has uh, gone away. So these are the, again some of the how how many unicorns, sunicorns like they are very near to become unicorns called sunicorns, and these are the capital combined capital it has been raised their valuations, which are the sectors where the top sectors are like e-commerce, fintech. In e-commerce e e means commerce. Uh, which are D2C or fl like Flipkart, uh, like Misho, uh, yeah, Jepto. So again, these are factual things. 46% startup has at least one woman director. So I think these are the healthy, like how, how the whole ecosystem is still, if you'll see, women entrepreneurs are not what it should be, they are not there. And lots of, now there are funds which are only focusing on women entrepreneurs. They have been, if you are a woman entrepreneur, for you, it's much easier to raise money. And if, I think these are the focus which balance in the long term. And we have to encourage more and more women entrepreneurs in our ecosystem. Yeah. So, the framework, transformations, funding amount, their funding amount. So 2023, and see 2024, what it was in 2014 and 2023, all the matrix has gone through huge transformation. And more will going to happen like 2030. Even that will look the 20, 2023 and 2030, if you'll put, it will be on the similar scale or much bigger scale. So that's how it's growing. Uh, and if you'll see, this, this will be, this will going to, here the might be numbers are numbers are not that similar, but the valuation will be much bigger. Again, these are the job creations, but direct, I think there are many more jobs has been created. 
and government also on, on knows that these are the these are the way we have to change our mindset the biggest job creation and transformation will going to happen with the new economy it will not going to be the traditional economy which takes care of our requirements of employment again some of the some of the data like how many graduations and other things here before 24 and after after 24 these are the main things which some of the some of the pr headings yeah so these are the gov government has uh, achieved this till now they have achieved these things and they are very serious about uh, our new economy and especially prime minister in any of the speech and at their address they they never forget to take the new economy and their impact and guys you guys have to also uh, and welcome i am welcoming you guys be part of this ecosystem because that's the only way personally also you grow as well as you uh, make others inspire and grow in this society thank you guys as we've seen recent developments in china's uh, image around around the globe china china's image around the globe we've noticed a trend that most of the companies either manufacturing or processing companies have moved to india have set up their shops in india have you personally seen any on the ground or any uh, changes uh, good or bad in our economy re resulting in that and if so could you please elaborate on that thank you yeah i think if you'll see it's has a sea change has happened on the surface uh, there is a policy globally uh, people are china plus one india is leading from uh, front commercially also if you'll see overall export is growing much faster and all these proof in the pudding uh, he not only manufacturing we are growing on all the fronts so but see we have to create that environment like lots of reform infrastructure and country like india if you'll see uh, lots of sector like our uh, uh, our port our road our uh, like if you'll see our indian railway their standard has our airport am i right all these world class infrastructure gives the confidence Uh, and we are integrating more and more with the outside world which gives them the confidence investor today india is the only country where all the investors are looking forward to invest the money not the china so i think these are the proof you don't have to ask well we can ask these questions and we are accelerating every day and i believe in next 4 5 6 7 next 15 years it's the in the worldwide is india time and the best thing one should be stay in india rather than going outside that's right that's why our slogan yahi samay hai sahi samay hai yeah. right so do we have any more questions yeah please hello good evening sir uh, my name good is gurveer singh here i am a pgdm student from 22 24 batch uh, just following up on the last question sir uh, what are the new manufacturing avenues do you see as an individual that are coming up in india because uh, like we associate semiconductors with taiwan we can uh, we associate global manufacturing with china like where do you see india would how how does india emerge into all of this global play like what would be the flagship product with which india can enter the global markets i i think uh, that's a great question but if you'll see all the sectors like in china plus china was almost manufacturing everything and if you'll see india is already entering into every sector partially first and then like all these defense manufacturing so all these are manufacturing only uh if you'll see, there are three kind of manufacturing one is like base manufacturing one is like a bit more complex manufacturing third is the spe specialized manufacturing where you command lots of precisions techni te uh, uh, you need technology and all like this india becoming third or fourth country to manufacture and stressing upon uh, 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 manufacturing chips i think that's a great move because that's a high precision manufacturing earlier has only been commanded by taiwan us and china now india is investing and going all out that shows the capability and confidence of india we can manufacture everything but like i said the basic we are correcting as a country we are correcting lots of things like infrastructure and infrastructure is not only infrastructure like 
bringing skilled labor, uh, training them. We have to fix lots of things. And we are fixing. We are on the right path. That's why if you see worldwide, we are the fastest growing economy, even in this recession time, where most of the European country is very hard to even keep up the 0% growth. I'm Rishi. I'm a BBA LLB first year student. Uh, so my question was about, uh, so when I saw the uh, concentration of the startup companies across India, it was, it was mainly concentrated in uh, places where there were cities and, and all of those. And you even mentioned uh, there were not many startup, uh, the startup culture hasn't reached the northeastern states of India. Sir, uh, so my question is, uh, do you believe it, is, it, it has act actually not reached uh, those states or is it because most of them are this unofficial? No, no, I think, like I said that, once the policy came into existence, if you'll see earlier, the whole startup ecosystem was only Bangalore and NCR or some bit of Mumbai. Now I'll show you the, there is a uh, already Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, Indore, Jaipur, Pune, Hyderabad, even smaller, smaller cities like Ahmedabad. So these are the progress. And I see the next time it will be Patna, Calcutta, already they are, they, they are very active. So all these things are happening, Bhuneshwar. So the first, because if you'll see in lots of excellent education systems are being part of those regions and infrastructures, capital, people are finding a way now there are lots of startup coming out of tier 2, tier 3 city which are solving the relevant problem. In D2C brand, I can say that safely, there are lots of companies successfully manufacturing great goods which are selling and getting the capital access so that they can scale. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>